Not peace? All right. We went over this in the dressing room. We have a language barrier, so it's even more important to listen and obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Freddie, this is a little bit high. I'm going to let him work in here. This is good. Good luck to both of you. Victor Postol claims Freddie Roach tells me I'm his new favorite fighter. Freddie Roach is a master psychologist. You wonder how many fighters have been told that he's their new favorite fighter. But certainly he's trying to use the positive to reinforce Postol and make him think, yes, you can beat Lucas Matisse. Well, question one for Matisse is how to get inside. And in round one by round three, he had completely taken over. Everybody knows Matisse operates at a higher level of class than Celtic ID. Yeah, if you get into that kind of trouble against Matisse early, you may not get out of that trouble. Hard body shot. And what Postar has to do is force Matisse to deal with that right there, that long jab. Right. He hasn't really gotten his rhythm going on the jab yet. We're a minute and a half in, and Postal oh, needs Victor, to develop go, a Victor. rhythm throwing Stop. his jab. Stop. Stop. Over Rio Sar. He's a little more calculated in what he does. He sets things up a little bit more. Ooh, good right hand. One, two by Postol. Right hand landed out, flush. Stop. Victor Postol off to a little bit of a slow start. Stop. Against stop. Lucas Matisse. See it a distance, Postol. Both of you, both of you, and you. Stay off the back of the head, both of you. Relax her say. Postol. You gotta go out to the right. To the right. That's the way you got to go out. What we said to Vadim Kornilov, but it was something that he wanted Kornilov to say to Postol, probably about the holding behind the head or hitting behind the head subject, about which gentleman scored the first round for Matisse. Postol did some good work, and then Matisse kind of evened it with that big body shot. From Matisse's left hook. But again, Matisse's right hand is also dangerous. This is a scratch and sniff start for Victor Postol. Because he's longer, he's not the power guy here. Not that he can't hurt Matisse, but he's not the guy that we're expecting to see the Let one punch the knockout stop, front. Stop, stop, Getting into one of those scratch and sniff type affairs and show the fans the action they want to see. And he gives very clear instructions. Yeah, you, you can't make fighters brawl, but you can make them box. And now Postol's getting into a rhythm here. That was a much better run, you know, right? Yeah, you, the round. jab was much more effective. Jab was more effective. Now when they shot in the jab, put the right hand behind it. He's allowed to fight on the clinch, to pull out. I'm saying, let him go. He said he understood. Okay. okay. Interesting. Harold Letterman scores the second round for Postal. Meaning he doesn't have to gain full control here to win rounds to a certain degree on how often are you able to stop, throw the jab stop. nobody punch over nobody the years punch. with nobody Lennox stop. Lewis the CompuBox indicator stop. was so right. totally stop. clear if Lennox threw 30 jabs around no one could touch him you couldn't stop. get near stop. him no stop. one stop. can handle him Victor. if he threw you under 25 anyone you was a threat you okay with postal it's probably the same thing partially blocked with the right hand crowd liked it but wasn't the big left hook good right hand inside by postal Night. Not pretty, but yeah, effective. Lucas. Let him go. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, don't do that with your shoulder. You all right? Let him go, Victor. Let him go, Victor. Victor, let him go. Stop, Harold Letterman, how do you have it through three? Okay, go. Jim. I got it two rounds to Watch. one. 29-28, Victor Postal. You know, Jim, it runs two and three. Lucas Batiste, like you said, didn't really land a power shot. Postal just landed jab after jab after jab, piling up points. I thought he won rounds two and three easily with that left jab. All, all uh, Lucas Batiste is doing to this point is throwing a lot of rabbit punches. You know, hit some good shots, but they're all behind the head. Not really legal punch. Good, good body, body shots, shots by Postal. Ooh, and he goes right. Matisse at a safe distance until he... Uh, those who thought Postal would win coming in Let him go. thought stop, that the stop, only stop. way Matisse could okay, win listen, listen. Uh, because of the Both size of and the skills of Postal and the busyness. And this is happening because you're wrestling. The only Both way Matisse could win is turning the... Good 
Good body shot again by Postol Stop. with the right hand. Who speaks both fluent Spanish and Russian or Ukrainian. That would have been the guy to have tonight. But we doubt there's one. We uh, keep that going, all right? Combination. All right. He's got to move the head. Move, move the head and then bring that through the right hand. And when, when you go on the inside, when you go on the inside, he's doing this. Go in and get that shot right shot. Man, something that's very bad for Matisse, which is a beautiful right hook to the body. You watch Matisse's reaction. You see him snatch that arm down. That means he felt that shot much more difficult for him to overcome this boxing scenario. Fights in a lower risk style, too, which gives Matisse less chances. Uh, snap on those punches to keep his opponent honest. Now, tonight, for the first time in my memory, the CompuBox analysis very specifically predicts that Stop. Postol will be leading right. on the scorecards when Matisse reels Box. him in with a late TKO. He's a user right uppercut right there. Stop. He's Stop. not throwing Stop. it, but you'd like to see him use a right uppercut when he's You're holding. Close. That's why you get hit behind the head. Stop the holding, you won't get hit. Exactly. Stop. 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 You have to listen. You have to listen. You all right? Box. Get back. Left hook by Matisse. Sixth round of a scheduled 12. Matisse looking for a way to put his imprint on the fight. Hasn't been able to do so so far. Stop, Let the stop. hands go a little more. Don't worry this. about setting everything up perfectly. But he should have done this sooner, Max, and he wouldn't be behind right Second time, Jack Reese went to Postol's corner and threw his manager, Babine Kornilov, told Postol, you're holding Matisse, you're gathering him yeah. into you, and if in a situation like that, he knocks you out with a punch that throws it. I think it is. Reese is a thoughtful referee and, and prepares stop, for those stop. moments what? and those possibilities philosophically ahead of time. Good, oh, good Hard stop. right hand by Matisse. His best punch in the fight. Postol trying to reassert himself. Stop. Stop. The second one is on Holden. Second one is on Two warnings for holding now against Victor Postol, meaning the next holding infraction could elicit a penalty. Now you see Matisse going for the knockout. And by the way, because of Reese's uh, warnings, the fight got better. There's been more exchanges. They're, they're forced, he's forcing a fight. Matisse gets in a left hook. He's landed both a right cross and a left hook in this round. But now he throws Postol to the canvas. If he would throw an overhand right after that left hook to the body, he would land it. Here you see Matisse throw up, body shot followed by a beautiful straight right hand, which to me has to be his best punch of the night. That one seemed to have buckled post down, post all a little bit. Landing seven more punches than Postal, who's at 57 of 267. Matisse with a 56 to 30 power advantage. And Matisse with a 16 13 advantage in the sixth round. But Postol is throwing more punches. And as we saw in the first fight tonight, that can often be the critical factor for the judges at ringside. Big right hand for Matisse. Postol was wobbled by that. Matisse Biggest power careful. of the punch of the oh, fight so far for Matisse. Headbutt, headbutt knocks Matisse back into the ropes. And Jack Reese will call timeout. Where? Looks at Postol, Where? he's okay. Looks at Matisse, no he's clock. okay. Clock. Harold, what do you have so far? Okay, Four right through six. Let him go. Okay, so let him go. Four let rounds to two. Let him go. 58, 56, Victor Postol. Nothing wrong with taking an advantage of a clinch away from a fighter because a clinch stop, is technically stop, 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 not a <laughs> clutch. Oh! Vladimirian. Vladimirian. <laughs> oh, another, another hard right. right hand. Followed by a hook. And there's Matisse following Reese's advice. I got an arm free. I'm going to use it. Big left hook by Matisse. Knocks Postal back to the ropes. And coming back oh. with his own combination. Hurts Matisse with a right hand. I think he did hurt him. Stop, I told stop, you Postal can hurt him. Bring it down. Here you see Matisse land even a better right hand. Got full extension on that one. You couldn't ask for a better punch than that, and that hurt Postal. And that's Olga Postal at ringside. 
Harold Letterman saw enough in the boxing Quick right hand over the top. Telling punches like those. Almost like he's decided over more free reign to throw punches. Good jab. Good jab. Good oh, jab. Oh. Hard right hand. Posto momentarily had Matisse in trouble with the one-two. Knocked him Another 60. hard right hand. Hard right hand again by Posto. Here you see Matisse get caught with the weight on his front foot as he reaches in with a jab, and Posto comes over the top of the jab with a right hand to the back of the ear and knocks him a complete 360. Posto had it all his way in the last round. He is very commanding, Jim. He's fighting at his pace. He's fighting at his range. As long as he doesn't do anything, then he should be safe for the rest of the night. Posto would be ahead on points, and Matisse would score the late TKO. It appears we have the first prerequisite. Stop, stop. Harold, how do you have it so far? Okay, Jim, I got an 88, 83, seven rounds to two. Victor Postal. Uh, my guy, I want him to throw more combinations. And when he gets when he gets in the inside with this guy, he falls in the pocket. I want to see him throw combinations up the middle because this stop, guy's relaxing. Stop, and just, you know, not, not really doing much. Uh, you know, when he's on the offense, he's not getting hit at all. When he's running, when he's moving back on the defense, that's when he's getting hit. So yes, I want him to press a little bit more. And this guy is not a good puncher going backwards. He's a good puncher coming forward. So I want him to press him nobody more. Punch, yes. Nobody punch. In the last couple of rounds, Matisse can turn this around. But let's just assume that, and we're going to see him three weeks from now. There you go. But if this holds up, let me tell you something. Oh, oh, oh! Good that right is right a knockdown. We've got a count, Cinco, and Matisse six, is down. Siete, ocho, nueve, he is. This is over. What? Victor Posto has knocked out Lucas Matisse. Roy said it could happen. Freddie said he noticed Matisse quitting, and there you saw a beaten fighter deciding not to get up. You start from the premise that Posto doesn't have enough power to hurt it. Well, he sure did. We've seen Posto twice. First against Idine, now against Matisse, who's at the top of the division. He totally dominated both fights and knocked his man out late both times. In the yeah, you see a boxing move, and I told you he was making Matisse reach. So when Matisse reaches right here with his jab, bam, he catches him on the way in with a straight right hand. And at that point, Matisse had already had enough, Jim. It was just a matter of time. Matisse was discouraged by having been outboxed. Totally discouraged by it. Never got in close enough to mount a long enough attack or a sustained attack for enough time to really do anything. Most amazing thing to me was that he stayed down. Well, sometimes a guy knows when, it's enough, when, when he's had enough. Sack right there with one knee on the canvas, not two, and listen to Jack Reese's count. And he still didn't get up after the count. That post all down the stretch. Stretched out his lead and landed punches, ultimately landing 17 more than Matisse. Jabs. He lands 36 out of 267. Matisse only throws 83. Power shots. He lands 77 out of 242. Matisse is ahead in this category. 82 out of 198. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jack Reese counts to 10, and this fight comes to an end. The official time. Two minutes, 58 seconds of round number 10. The winner by knockout victory, still undefeated, and now the new WBC super lightweight champion of the world, Dami Gaspada, Victor, the Iceman, Postal.